Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial video, I'd like to demonstrate the uses of if function in Microsoft Excel or any other spreadsheet platform. The if function is one of the most popular function in Excel and it allows you to make logical comparisons between a value and what you expect. So an if function statement can have two results. The first result is if your comparison is true and the second result is if your comparison is false. So basically if function has three parameters. First one is logical test second one is value if true and the third one is value if false to apply if function first of all you have to verify the data with the help of logical test then if the logical test is true then excel will automatically execute value if true part otherwise it will execute value if false part here you can see in this example some names are written along with their ages and we need to find out the voting eligibility status for this case here we can apply if function to cast a vote the age of the voter should be greater than or equal to 18. So the formation of the function will be is equal to if within bracket b2 greater than or equal to 18 which belongs to the logical part or logical test comma within double quotes we need to specify the string which we want to print as a result if the logical test is true. So here I have written eligible for voting and after comma we have to specify the third part of the function which is value if false within double quotes here i have written not eligible for voting now after pressing enter microsoft excel will automatically produce the result for the first record which is eligible for voting now simply drag the formula in the required remaining cell to activate the function for those cells Okay, I'm opening Microsoft Excel and I'll demonstrate the same example. Let me prepare the structure and the list. Here you can see two records are present. First one is Rohit Dash uh, whose age is 25 years and Shorab Bishar whose age is 15 years. Now here I'll apply the same function to check whether they are eligible for voting or not. As you can see here in the cell B2 the age of the first voter is present and in cell number C2 I'll write the function to check the eligibility. So the function will be is equal to if within bracket B2 greater than equal to 18 after that we have to specify value if true. So within quotes here I am writing eligible. After comma we have to specify value if false and here I am writing within quotes not eligible. Now after closing the bracket, whenever I hit enter, Microsoft Excel will automatically produce the result. Let's move to the next example. Suppose you have been assigned to find the revised salary of all the employees of a company by obtaining the following conditions. First, 10% hike will be provided for those who are drawing more than 25,000 and the second is 5% hike will be provided for those who are drawing less than 25,000 salary. Rather finding the revised salary individually, it would be better if we apply if function for this case. And in this list, you can see some names are written along with their designation and salary, which is the present salary. And, and we have to find the new salary. So here, I'll apply the if function to execute the result. In the cell F2, I'm writing the formula is equal to if within bracket e2 greater than equal to 25,000 where e2 holds the present salary of the employee after comma the formula for value if true parameter would be e2 into 1.1 which will calculate the 10% hike of the salary after comma we have to specify the formula for value if false parameter which is e2 into 1.05 which will find the 5% hike now simply drag the cell to fit the formula in all the remaining cells Hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching the video.